I'm reviewing the Baby Noki Best Hand and Footprint Picture Frame Kit. Alright, let's give it an open here. Let's see what we've got inside. Well, lots of stuff in here. We've got a little wooden rolling pin. Alright. Got some packets of clay. A little roll of double-sided tape. The instruction sheet. I'm going to hold that up here. You can kind of pause it if you want to read it. Okay, let's see what else is here. Alright, we've got some frames here, some uh, matting here. We've got pink and blue. And there's also a white one down there in the frame. So you're going to get all three of those. Alright, this is pretty solid frame. It feels really well made. It's made with real wood here. Uh, nice finish on it. Let's just put it up here. The frame itself is made with real wood. Here, and let's see, let's open this up. It's got these little slide locks. Little pressure locks there. Put that back here, take that off. All right, you've got the little indentation there where you put the clay in. And this is made with, um, feels like glue board. And uh, it's about as wide as my finger, you can see there. And it's pretty solid, it's a pretty heavy board. It's not going to break. Uh, it's really nice. So let's see. Let's uh, see. So there is a... Uh, okay, there is a third matting. It is white or uh, it's a little bit off-white. So you've got the, uh, the white, the pink, and the blue to choose from. A really great kit. It comes with everything you need here to make your uh, your impressions here and, and everything. Got a little uh, plastic frame there, plastic uh, piece. There's no glass. It's plastic. And again, the frame itself is a little wider than my finger, and uh, you can see about one section. So it's about an inch wide there. You got these nice locks, these pressure locks on top to hold the backing in. And there's no glass. It is a thin piece of plastic there in the front. Kind of like a thin plexiglass type plastic. Alright, so here we're going to mix the clay. I'm going to show you how to mix the clay out on this board here. We'll get started making this, uh, making the impressions now. This is sold as a, uh, an item to make, uh, impressions of your baby's hands and feet, but, uh, I've kind of put it to an alternate use here, which you're going to see in just a few minutes. So I'm kind of making a, a different use of it, which uh, I think you'll find pretty unique. And um, here I am. You're going to need the clay for about two to three minutes. You're just going to kind of fold it over, then flatten it out with your fingers, and just keep doing that for two or three minutes. After you've gotten it pretty flat, got all the air bubbles out, you bring the frame back over. And you're going to put it in the frame. And you're going to try to stretch it out to the corners. Try not to rip it. Just try to pull the corners up so that you're going to cover the whole indented area there. There's plenty of clay there to get in the whole groove and everything. You're going to use that wooden rolling pin to kind of flatten out the top there as best you can. Might take a few minutes, might take a few tries. Uh, just keep going until you get it flat. You can use a coffee mug if that wooden rolling pin doesn't work good for you. Now, I've got mine pretty flat. I'm pretty happy with it. So here I'm going to go take my impressions. And you're going to see where uh, my little unique twist had come in on this here. 
And there you go. I, I've taken some impressions of my dog's paws because um, she's not going to be around much longer and I want to make kind of a keepsake. So um, I'm putting the frame, this frame kit to use for that. And uh, I think that was a pretty unique use for this. And um, so here we are. We're going to put the whole thing together now. So we're going to peel the backing off of the, uh, the little plexiglass piece here. It had, I guess, kind of a, a little backing so that it wouldn't have any scratches on it from the factory. I'm going to toss that. We'll put that back into the frame first. Now we've got the... Uh, I put two pictures there into the matting piece where the pictures would go and the part where the clay is going to be is still open of course with the clay part over behind there now I'm going to insert the backing which has the clay on it the paw prints there it also has the stand attached to that backing piece so we're going to put that in We're going to lock these little pressure locks down. Just like so. Get those in there. All right. There's a little sharp staple sticking up there. I'm just flattening out with a spoon. All right. That's good now. Okay, I'm just checking this out. It seems like uh, you know, when I opened the uh, the pressure locks, I guess I kind of bent them up a little. I'm just going to remove the back for a second and press those down just a little bit so that when I move them back over the backing part, they're nice and tight. So I'm just going to move those inward each of them and press them down just a little that way when I slide them they're going to put some pressure on the backing I guess I kind of lift them up a little when I open them before all right sorry I have to make you watch this twice but here we go now it's much better they're really tight now that's going to hold it in place perfectly All right. Oh, this looks great. All right. Check this out. Got my puppy in there. Got our paw prints. Nice. Maybe I'll get a little nameplate and put it up there on top. This is a really awesome kit. I'm really happy with the outcome. It was really simple to do. There was no mess absolutely no mess involved um, the clay was already mixed so I didn't have to mix that um, I really can't say anything bad about this it was a simple process from start to finish um, the whole thing was really done in maybe like 15 minutes other than the, the overnight drying time I mean this is really great I would recommend this for anyone this would be great for your, your you know, the intended use for babies, but, but it's also great for this use. Um, it didn't get on my pet's foot at all. It, nothing stuck in her fur. Uh, it was a simple process. She didn't have any problem with it. I just wiped her foot with a paper towel afterwards. Check this out. It's the Baby Noki Hand and Footprint Picture Frame Kit.